Hi guys, today let's see how to create a real-time chat application using Ionic 2 for the front end and uh, socket IO sockets. I mean, just the sockets. Uh, so, real-time chat is an interesting application which can be achieved through sockets. And uh, here we'll be using a, a Node.js backend uh, and a front end would be the Ionic 2 application. So, let's get started. First, we'll write the backend. Uh, so I'll create a directory ionic to chat server and I'll cd into that server okay uh, and I'll npm init to create a node.js project okay so now we have a project and uh, we'll create a you know file inside this touch index dot js and then we'll open this up in our editor that is i'll be using brackets i need to chat server okay now we'll start writing the code here uh, the dependencies we'll be using here is uh, the socket IO, socket.io. So for, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, install that one first. So, you know, npm install socket.io save. Okay, let's uh, let this get installed. Meanwhile, we'll, you know, create the uh, front-end application in Ionic 2 as well since Ionic 2 usually takes up a bit more time to finish installing the insta uh, node modules I'll just uh, start this start that up now itself So that by the time we finish writing the server we'll have a front-end app uh, so Ionic start Ionic 2 chat uh, client blank e2 okay I'll let this go on in the back in background. We'll start with this. First, we'll you know require the modules. Require socket.io, and then what else we need? We need a HTTP server, right? HTTP require HTTP, and then we'll make a server out of this server. Require. Uh, Server, why do we require? We are going to make it from the HTTP server. Server, okay. And then we need uh, we need to assign that IO to run inside the server, right? So IO is IO dot listen and server. Now it will listen to this server uh, and see if there are any incoming connections or if an in connection is made, if there are any incoming messages uh okay it, it'll remain in sync with the server that's what i'm trying to say here so now what we'll do is we'll first create this will keep checking if any incoming connections comes and we'll write a function to handle that we'll uh, it will get a socket and then we'll uh, for now we'll just you know print out a message called user connected Okay, and then we'll start this server server dot listen um, three thousand, and then uh, what what uh, function uh, again a message server started yeah now uh, we have written a simple code which which is a simple server HTTP server which uh, we have created using a uh, Node.js. And uh, our sockets will be, I mean, we have used socket.io to listen on this server. And whenever a connection is made uh, from a socket client, it will hand, we have written a function to handle that connection, uh, which will, you know, print out a message uh, user connected in the uh, console. So that's the code we have written so far. Let's see if this works first. whether the user is connected or not because we need a client uh, that makes a call to this server right using the sockets 
so uh, first we'll get started with the writing the client application the client application will be using ionic 2 to you know wire it up so let's see if that has actually uh, it's still installing so maybe i'll just go ahead and pause this video and then once the node modules are installed i'll you know once again uh, resume the recording so that you can you guys can have a smooth video without uh, waiting along with me for this installation yeah uh, the app is not ready guys let's go ahead and open this app uh, in uh, brackets i already opened it here as you can see now uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to write create uh, establish a connection between this app and the backend server right uh, using sockets so first of all uh, let's get sockets for client if you go to their page socket.io slash download you could see getting the socket io client they have given a cdn i'm going to use the cdn for now for this demo uh, inside the www folder inside index.html paste this okay uh, then come back to home.js file and then first of all we will create a connection and test it whether it works so uh, uh, how we are testing is uh, testing it is that uh, if the connection is established then we should get a message called uh, user connected right uh, that's how we test it so uh, let's go ahead and you know uh, we'll write that inside a constructor constructor this dot socket equal to io uh, and we'll give the url localhost 3000 okay now if it goes fine uh, we should get a message called uh, user connected okay i'll serve this up cd mm, ionic to chat ionic serve. okay here it started up so here we should get as soon as the browser opens up and the thing loads we get a message called user connected right so uh, what this literally means is that we have made uh, established the connection from the front end to the server uh, using sockets now let's see how to transfer a message from this uh, front end to the back end instant instantly i mean front end to another front end instantly with the help of this server and with the help of sockets and th that's the whole purpose of the app we are doing here right we are going to develop a real-time chat application let's see how to do that so first of all uh, i'm closing this and opening it up in chrome this is not actually one of the process you could use any browser okay uh, now i'll do the front end i'll remove the card first and then in the place of the card uh, i'll have a um, what, uh, input function i on input type equal to text and then uh, ng model should have ng model right ng model equal to chat input and then uh, ng model equal to chat input and then what else uh, yeah that's it and input and then i'll have a button i'll have a fab button maybe button uh, on click it should you know um what should it do it should go to send and chat input and it uh, has it okay now i have created a input field and a button on uh, i'll type some message in the input field and once i click the button then uh, the message should get transmitted that's my idea here so i'll wire this up to a method here okay how i'm going to do that is first of all let me you know create the chat input i used that model there right so i'm just creating it with the blank initializing it with the blank in the constructor and then what should i do i should write a send message send receive the message and then check if the message is not equal to blank if the message is not equal to blank i need to use the socket and then emit this message right this dot socket dot emit and then i'll use a message and then i'll emit my message okay uh, 
and then i'll go ahead and clear the chat input and make it uh, clean again okay uh, now we have a send uh, method to send the message now uh, whatever message comes to this uh, application i should have a incoming you know sort of a handling to a function to handle the incoming me messages right so i'll go ahead and write that in the constructor itself uh, before writing that uh, uh, if you had seen my camera uh, tutorial you would have noticed that i used a concept called ng zone right uh, zones are useful guys uh, please read it up in the documentation uh, zones are especially useful when you want to do something outside of angular then come back to angular and then update the dom or something uh, so I, I'll be using zones here also. Import uh, zone. You would have by now understood why I'm using this because I need to update each and every time a user sends a message. I need to update it into the DOM, right? So uh, Angular two slash core. Okay. Now I'll write um, static get parameters. G zone. Okay, now I'll write uh, ng zone here. This dot zone equal to ng zone. Okay, uh, I'll have one more array maybe. This dot chats equal to empty. This uh, chats array I'll be using to store all the incoming messages and then display them onto the screen. Okay, uh, now I'm going to. I, uh, listen for the messages so this dot socket dot on message and uh, what should i do uh, i should write a function right to handle that message and we'll use the zone here sorry and uh, push this inside the chat say push that message okay i hope you guys understand what i'm doing here i'm listening to the messages in coming to this application uh, and then pushing those messages inside the chat array so that the it could be displayed on the front end so yeah that's it guys we handle the uh, incoming messages as well as we have written a method to send messages from this application now uh, as far as the screen is concerned we have only created an input field and a button to uh, send a message we will create something to show the message we will create a, a list here to show the message i am just doing this for demo purpose that's why i am creating a list okay and uh, inside this we will have the item and i uh, will use a for for should start with the asterisk uh, g4 mm, message in not in off search off uh, chats chats right yeah chats okay something uh, yeah yeah we didn't give the quotes message of chats okay now what should we do uh, we should show the message message yeah that's it now we have on the screen we could show the messages as a list and we could also send messages right okay now that we have the front end ready let's go back to the back end and uh, you know do some tinkering on that uh, so that you know the back end server should respond to messages right so we'll do that now we'll open up our back end and to chat server save this and then go here what should i do yeah as of now it will just show user connected now i need to make it uh, use the socket first socket dot on and uh, it should listen for this message once the message is received i'll write a function uh, this message would be emitted io dot uh, emit message comma message and that's it now the backend will handle the incoming message from the uh, front end and then emit it along so that uh, whichever client is listening for this message can get it right so yeah that's it uh, now let's see if this actually works we'll restart the server first uh, 
what should we do yeah node index.js server started and the user connected because you already opened this up obviously and then maybe i'll open up a new window and then show it to you guys so that you can Hi here. You could see that it's getting displayed, right? Uh, okay. Now, and the thing is, we can't see the input field here, right? So we'll maybe we'll write a placeholder there so that you know we could say have a better chance of locating the placeholder. placeholder equal to i'm sorry guys uh, since i'm using unity for my uh, you know ui thing desktop environment i think uh, it eats up most of my gpus uh, uh, i mean cpu and that's why it's getting slow i think uh, placeholder is go placeholder enter message now let's see what happens yeah now we could see enter message here right i'll open up the other one also Okay, now I'm typing a message hi. You could see it, right? It's almost instantaneous. So this is how you write a uh, real-time chat application using. I mean, this is not exactly a chat application. This is how you transmit uh, messages in real time using sockets and uh, in Ionic two guys. Now, if you, the, as you know, as you might already, you know, okay, you, you might have guessed it that, uh, guess that uh, these messages won't be stored anywhere, right? So, if you can hook it up to a MongoDB or any other DB for that matter, uh, you could, you know, persist these messages and make them available whenever the user uh, opens them up. And uh, if you add an authentication or a system along with it, you could, yeah, you could uh, maybe have your own authentication and you know maybe styling along with it you could have your own uh, whatsapp or instant messaging uh, application ready maybe i could you know show that to you or you just if you want to uh, want me to do that uh, kindly drop a comment and i'll you know take my time and uh, write it up so yeah that's it guys this is the thing i wanted to show uh, i mean share with you guys uh, uh, i hope this uh, video was useful to you guys uh, please subscribe to this channel to my channel and encourage me so that uh, uh, it would be you know the best uh, it would be the best motivation for me to make more videos like this uh, yeah that's it guys so i'll be you know writing a detailed tutorial about this on my blog and uh, you could find a description below uh, this video for my blog i mean you could find a link to the my blog in the description below this video and also whatever code i have written so far i'll post it up on github and you could uh, find a uh, link to that uh, github repo on my blog so yeah guys uh, talk to you guys in the next video peace bye